It's been a while since I've sat down and actually spoke to you guys on the camera like this. I don't normally do this anymore because I started to think to myself, no one actually gives a fuck. And reality is like, me actually expressing myself on camera is actually sitting down and, and just being me. Sounds so fucking hippie as well, guys, trust. Me sitting here and talking to the camera, it just feels right. I feel connected. It allows me to express myself as a person when it comes to my personality. I've sort of missed it for a while. Been a lot in my head about no one cares about this, no one cares about that. But in today's video, you've obviously seen the title of the video. I'm just going to sit here and just chat. I hope that you can find some sort of value out of it. Of course, you've read the, the, the title, you've clicked on, you are fucking interested, you're being nosy, I know you are. I'm here to just sort of like be real, be honest, be open and just talk about what is happening moving forward and what lessons I've learned. Be open to you guys who are maybe potentially thinking about going down the routes that I've made and the mistakes that I made. I want to just be totally fucking transparent, provide you with something to take away from this. Obviously, you guys follow the channel for a while now, competing in 2022, finished that prep naturally. Two days after competing, literally two fucking days, I jumped straight onto my first ever cycle. At the time when I finished my prep, I did my blood work, of course, naturally. I was sitting around three nanomoles of testosterone, which as you guys know, after dieting naturally, getting very lean for a long period of time, your testosterone is always gonna plummet as a natural. Obviously I went on my first cycle, fast track, 12 weeks later or so, I come completely off. I didn't really speak about it too much. I was sort of hiding the fact that I was still using gear, but I wasn't because I felt like I was a letdown. I felt like a failure and fast track to 2024 right now March I have decided to go back on the reason why I've made this video and I know a lot of people are going to have their say they're gonna have their comments they're gonna say this they're gonna say that you know the amount of times I go in my YouTube comments and someone is coming out with something that's completely bollocks they're just making assumptions like what you see on camera you don't see what goes behind closed doors if that makes sense you just watch the videos okay I post what I want you guys to see you don't see the other stuff that goes behind that looking back I regret going on two days post show. The reason why I regret doing that, obviously I made a tremendous amount of gains in a short period of time. I recovered from that prep within like two weeks. 2019 when I competed, it took me about six months to recover naturally. I felt on top of the world. And a lot of people just see the progress. They see the cappy delts that I got. They see how much fuller I was looking in, in relaxed shots. I was posting it all across on Instagram. You would have seen all that shit. But a lot of people don't realize what was going up on here. And steroids massively affects what goes up on here. We all see the good stuff, the muscles, the strength, you don't see what goes up on here. For me, when I finished my prep, I finished at three nanomoles. And then as soon as I went on gear, I went up by 13 times my natural testosterone. Now, for anyone to times the testosterone by 13, that is a fucking huge jump. And would I advise anyone doing that ever? No, not at all. The reason why I sort of took that step back was I spent 2022 doing something very selfish. If you've ever competed before, you know how stressful that is for the people around you as well, because it is a very selfish thing that you are doing. You are getting yourself down to low body fat. You are not eating food and basically surviving. You're the one who's fucking grumpy. It's no one else's fault that you are competing. And often or not, when we're pissed off, we're hungry, we're tired. We always take our emotions out on everyone else rather than you actually understanding that you are the problem itself. And for me, the problem that I had was I went from doing something very selfish to then taking steroids, which again, if anyone's never taken steroids before, or if you've taken steroids, it's a very selfish thing to do. It is, it's the end of the day. Like you are jeopardizing your health to look a certain way and you don't know what's gonna happen long-term. The people around you have to deal with the consequences of what you are doing. And for me at that current moment of time, my life is more than just bodybuilding. Although I fucking love bodybuilding, guys. I fucking love it. I wake up and I think about the gym. I fucking go to bed and think about the gym. I try and nail and try and be the best version of myself because I'm an athlete and I've always been an athlete. When I played football at a decent level, I did 100 meters back in school, long fucking jump, did fucking long distance. I was a fucking athlete. And if I'm doing something, I'm being the best version of myself. I don't settle for fucking last place. I don't settle just to turn up. I do it because I want to fucking win. I love the feeling of winning. I love the feeling of being the best version of myself, okay? Reality is I was just being more and more selfish. It was more about me. It's very hard to take a step back in those moments of time, okay? The last year, I've not used any steroids, androgens. I've used growth hormone, I've used insulin. You know, those sort of things aren't gonna affect my hormones. They're not gonna affect what's going on up in here. Taking a step back was one of the best things I possibly could have done in that situation. But if I kept going the way that I was, I don't know where I'd be right now because I would just wanna be focused on myself. All this, all that, I'd have fucking neglected anything else in my life just to be a better bodybuilder, to have more muscle. And the reality is, life isn't just about having muscle. There's so much more to life than just looking a certain way. Now, I took that step back. I 
I really re sort of evaluated myself, found out who I was as a person. It takes bollocks to do that, I'll be honest with you guys. Like not many people are able to take that step back from using steroids because it is addicting. It's a drug. The way you feel, the way you progress, you want more and more and more. That's the reality of it. Just pull back the syringe a little bit more and we'll fucking put in more today. I didn't want to become that person so obsessed about making progress that I devalued everything. Is that the right word? Devalued everything outside of that. I was just in a bubble. This last year, I've really taken a step back and I've really invested into my family. Victoria, the dogs, life, where my actual priorities are at. I can comfortably say now that I've learned from all the mistakes that I made in the past, become a better version of myself. When I look back at some of the videos that I was making whilst I was on using steroids, I was sitting there glamorizing steroids like, oh, I feel fucking good. Like I was talking about taking Breviron and having a boner in a car. Like what the fuck, George? Like seriously, you're, you're sitting here and you're talking about drugs in glamorizing it. And no wonder I was getting people in my fucking DM saying, hi George, motivated me and inspired me to do my first cycle. Like what the fuck? That is not the person that I wanted to become. I got in that sort of, because I was doing well, the YouTube videos were banging, I was earning fucking four or five grand a month on YouTube alone, I was thinking, I've fucking made this, I've made this, I'm fucking raking in the views, I'm doing all of this, I'm fucking going to be successful. But then I neglected all the basic foundation, the fundamentals of my life of what actually is important to me. I don't care about earning five grand on YouTube a month, what I care about is the people around me. I could have fucking nothing in my life and I appreciate and respect Vicky, I appreciate and respect the dogs, going for a walk around the park with the dogs means so much more to me than just fucking going on steroids and becoming massive and being a gym junkie. That means fuck all to me, okay? I've taken a step back, re-evaluated myself, and now I'm in a position, year and a half, year and a bit later, where I'm ready to now take that next step. And of course, you may be saying, well, George, you did all this sort of stuff to then go back on. What the fuck are you doing, mate? I still have big goals in bodybuilding. I've actually found something that, one, I'm pretty fucking good at. Two, I massively enjoy. And three, I make a fucking living from it. And whilst, all oh, you don't need steroids to do all these sort of things, you really, really don't, I want to take my physique as, as far as I can. I don't want to be a fucking 280 pound bodybuilder walking around out of breath, can't fucking walk. I don't want to be that person. I want to be aesthetic. I want to bring something different to the fucking party. I want to educate people. I want to be someone that you can relate to. If you are going to go down this route, which fucking so many people nowadays are, unfortunately, it's reality of it. This is how you do it in the right way. And I want to provide value education while still achieving my goals, while showcasing the process for you. And I found myself being a little bit lost because I felt like I didn't know what I was doing in my life. I didn't know and I was still holding on to this sort of going back on whether I go back on or not. Now I can finally say that I've worked on the things that I need to work upon. I prioritize so many things in my life. If things don't work out for me again, I will come off straight away. I've invested into therapy. I've invested in so many things that I am working upon to be a better person. Now communication being the one thing, I don't communicate, guys. I'm fucking shit at communicating. I hold anger and frustration in and I'll just let it out on blame Victoria or blame whatever, blame the dogs for it. When if I just communicate in that moment of time, I'm so much better at that now. It's taken me fucking ages to learn that. But I'm so much better. So to give you a rundown of what's going on. So I've done two jabs so far. I've gone back on. I'm taking my time with obviously things. You guys know that we do things slightly different around here. Isn't just going on to 250 test and start progressing like that. I'm just on a actual TRT. So replacing it with exactly what I have as a natural. I'm going into a diet next week. So I'm going to run with obviously what I've been doing for the time being. Whether we escalate or not, obviously I'll keep you posted on the YouTube videos. We'll obviously throughout the mini cut that I'll be doing over the next sort of week or so. Then we'll assess the situation from there. But what I want this channel to be about now moving forward. Not George glamorizing being a fucking kid in a candy shop about fucking, yeah, I'm using gear, la la la, I feel like this, I feel like that. It's about, these are my goals, this is what I want to achieve, this is how I'm gonna do it. And I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do it in the safest way, because steroids isn't safe at all. We call it the most risk reducing way possible to still have a life outside of bodybuilding, to actually expand what I wanna do and be the best version of myself and achieve the personal goals that I've got set. And I know, and that's that. Like, I don't hide anything on this channel. If anything, I'm way too honest. Sometimes it shoots me in the foot. <laughs> Sometimes I get myself in trouble, but at the same time, that's just me. I've always been like that. I've always got myself in trouble with some of my words and thoughts and stuff like that. But I'm hoping you can see where I'm coming from when watching this video. I'm hoping this is sort of giving you some answers. Also, just some content to look forward to as well for the nearby future. So if you do like this video, then, then please drop us a like. If you do want to see more of these sort of sit down videos where I chat shit and just almost kind of like express my feelings and emotions when talking to the camera because I feel like I am the real me when it's just me and the camera. Sounds so hippie. Please let us know and that's something that I can do more often. But I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Like, please subscribe. I'm really trying to get 50,000 50, subscribers this year and that would mean the absolute world if I could. And uh, if there is any questions you have, and make sure you follow us on Instagram, George Ogden 12, 
interested in the coaching, links down below, supplement needs, YNMR for gym accessory stuff, gym accessory stuff, all links will be down below. Let's get it, let's chase these goals, let's work as a team. Welcome to the family if you're new around here, waffling on now. I'll see you guys in a bit.